reverse over the Panther line. White to the net. Shoot! Here's Kachuk. Right in. Scores! Balls is a handoff to Balls. Here's going to the net. He scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I am your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore. For the time dates for the games, and of course, breaking news as well. Please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com, or download the app from the App Store, and use our promo code SenseTalk. You will save $20 US off your first purchase. The links are in the description below at SeatGeek.com or on the App Store. Now, before we get into the video, just a quick thing. Uh, tomorrow, I'm driving down to Belleville. I'll be seeing the Belleville Senators versus the Toronto Marlies. I'll have a post-game recap for that and have some in-game video. So beef, looking forward to that tomorrow. Now before tonight's game, a couple of live notes. Firstly, Bobby Ryan, for the first time since November, we're playing and practicing with the Senators today. We don't know when he's going to be back in the lineup, but it's a nice to see him back with the team. Now Nick Paul returns after 10-game absence, and for Vladislav Nemestikov, who's out day today with a lower body injury. Turn off the ring real quick. But let's get to the starting goaltenders for the Colorado Avalanche was Philip Grubauer, and for the Sens, it was Marcus Hogberg. Hogberg tested early in the first period alone. Ottawa getting outshot crazily, 12 to nothing. Two minutes to go in the period. They have no shots on goal. But before we get into the last couple minutes of the period, Valtteri Nishushkin gets a nice shot past Hogberg's right blocker, and the Senators are down by one, eight minutes into the period. Burakovsky with the assist, a defensive breakdown. Ron Hainsey just gives the puck away, and Nishushkin has no other choice but the rip it past Hogberg. After, like I just said, Ottawa getting absolutely dominated throughout the first period, but after a Bronx cheer for the Senators' first shot, Brady Kachuk gets a nice pass from Chris Turney, and he roofs it past Grubauer for his 16th of the year. Ottawa ties it at one apiece with 50 seconds to go from Turney and Connor Brown. We're going to the second period where Ottawa has evened it at one apiece. They're trying to build some momentum, but they can't. Matt Nieto takes a one-timer. Bellamare gets the pass to Nieto. Hansies dropped. Too deep, Shabbat's off of Nieto, leaves him alone. His eighth of the year, Jost with the secondary assist. The Avs retake the lead, it's 2-1. Four minutes later, Kill McCarr from the point lets it rip past Hogberg, who never had time to set as he was moving. He went down before he was even in position to face the shot, so he had no chance of stopping this one. Ranton and McKinnon, the assist on this power play goal. And the third period for the icing on the cake, JT Comper makes it 4-1 to McCarr and Graves. With the assist as the Colorado Avalanche absolutely dominate the game, winning this one four to one. Now the shots can go in that third in that first period. Ottawa getting out shot twelve nothing the first two minutes and ends the period with shots thirteen to five. In the last two minutes, Ottawa got five shots to the net, including that Brady Kachuk goal. The second period, Ottawa got some more offense going, 10 10. Third period, 11 11, 34 26 to final, but really that does not really show the true outcome of this game as Colorado had full full. Um, possession and full control of this game throughout, through in and throughout. Team stats: Ottawa faceoff loss by 736-29 in favor of the Avalanche. Power plays: Ottawa's power play has been really good in the last few games. They have risen to 28th in the league with a 15.3 power play percentage. However, tonight they went 0 for 2 or nullified, and the Avalanche on their lone chance were they scored. They went 1 for 1. 36-26 hits were in favor of the Sens, and thanks to 10 hits, I believe, was it from Boro or Brady Kachuk? I think it was Brady Kachuk, yeah, 10 hits or something like that, something crazy. Uh, the third star of the game, Nathan McKinnon with an assist. The second star, Miko Rantan with an assist. And the first star with two points, one goal, one assist for the Calder Trophy nominee, potentially, anyways, Caleb McCarr. Attendance tonight was 11,465. Terrible attendance, we all know why. And let's get to the Sens Stocks of the Night, voted by you, the fans. The Send Stock Star on the Night, voted by you, the fans, brought to you by SeatGeek.com. Download the app in the App Store or use our promo code SendStock. You will save twenty U.S. dollars off your first purchase. Is as follows: in fourth place, zero percent of the vote. Tyler Ennis, two shots of the goal, four hits tonight. I like Tyler Ennis for multiple reasons. One, he's playing determined every shift. Two, he's noticeable every game. And three, he does the little things. In the first period alone, Tyler Ennis was noticeable to me. With good compete effort. Even though there's no shots going to the final two minutes, I like Tyler Ennis. As the game progressed, got four hits, got two shots in goal, was impactful in the game. Third start of the game, Drake Batherson with a shot in goal. This kid is developing nicely with 6% of the vote. 
Um, you know, he had a couple nice moves in the first period. He's showing much more confidence. I look forward to see what he can do with some actual line mates. Second star, 17% of the vote. Connor Brown, one assist, three shots on goal. Had a chance to make it two assists today. Got one assist on that long goal for the Sanders. A secondary one on Brady Kachuk's goal. But overall, Connor Brown is a really smart hockey IQ type of guy. And uh, he had a decent game in a game where Ottawa didn't get have many offensive chances. He was one of them that got those chances. The first star, one of his better games of the year, Brady Kachuk, one goal, seven shots on net. It's we are, We're used to this from Brady. 78% of the vote he won this end stock star of the night. We're used to this from Brady, though. Um, sometimes he has nights where he's just hitting around. Sometimes he's scoring goals and getting like 12, and 12 like t- almost 10 shots on net. So Brady Kachuk is a hell of a player, and it's pretty evident here that he is a special one. Now, besides that, the next end game is on Saturday against the Winnipeg Jets at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll see you then. Thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensalk underscore. For the last of the games, and of course, breaking news, please like us on Facebook, Sensalk. Add us to the circle, so cool. Bless Sensalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video over circle stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, sensalkcentral.com. We update that every single day. And of course, please check out our sponsor, SeatGeek.com. Or download the app in the App Store and use your promo code SENSTALK. You will save $20 US off your first purchase. Final score, Ottawa 1, Colorado 4. I'll see you Saturday. I mean, I'll see you Friday, actually, for the Belleville recap. So I'll see you then tomorrow. Go Sens go.